Hello, Libra. Thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot, Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Boom, boom, boom. Good, good, great, wonderful. This is Libra. Ooh, Libra. What? This is good. What's the deal there? <laughs> okay, you're not letting me get around it. Okay. A similar, okay, well that's, okay, let's see what's going on. I gotta stop guessing because this is very peculiar to me. Once we start reading it, I feel like it'll make more sense. You got like, you got six to one, half a dozen to the other, the whole way through. The whole way through. Now, When I'm starting off with this situation, there are, there's a lot of problems going on in this situation, whatever it is. A lot of problems. Things just seem to happen out of nowhere, and it's like certain things are unpredictable. The devastation is it's kind of like people are letting you down, and there's people who just don't do what they're supposed to do. Yet the basis of the situation is the situation as a whole is very good. That's the happy family. But I'm getting there's a couple problems here that are normal, that they just they're, they're just constantly there, and it's just kind of like you never know when they're going to be a problem. You never know when they're going to be the biggest issue. Overall, everybody gets along very well, but it's kind of like you all collectively have to look out for this problem. Now, as it keeps going forward, you keep that in mind, and you you're aware of that. And I'm getting when I see the tower, with the ten of wands or ten of swords for you especially when it's got the happy family behind it. At this point, there's nothing that's really bad happening, but it's kind of like it's always looming over you. Like, when is it going to be a problem? Sooner or later, it will be a problem. When will it be a problem? And it's not like you can just get it over and move on from it. It's just every now and then it's just a problem, then it goes away, then it comes back and it's a problem, then it goes away. It's like that, it's like that crazy relative that just shows up and creates havoc every now and then. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Um, but everybody else in the family gets along very well. It's a weird one like that. Now, as I keep going forward, everything seems to be, like, there's a weird, like, things are popping up. The tower card, again, like, there's problems popping up, but they're very short-lived. I'm seeing, like, a problem pops up, and you're like, oh, boy, what am I going to do with that? Somebody else steps in and takes care of it. They let you know what's going on. And this, the situation kind of is, you don't have to deal with it. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. Uh-oh, problem popped up. What am I have to do about that? Some So-and-so calls you and says, hey, by the way, did you know this was going on? Yeah, I just found out. Don't worry, this is what we did about it. That's moving on. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, cool, great. This time, this time, you don't have to handle that. Cool, angel of love with the thinking man in the environment. Somebody looked out for you. Somebody moved this problem on so you don't have to deal with it. In this situation, you're like, that's cool because it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, not a, it's not something that can be permanently fixed anyway. So the fact that somebody's moving that on for you works for you. Now, is this good or bad? This is good. Okay. You've got the throat chakra with the man holding a coin in the environment. Don't get caught up in the gender. It's a general read. But this is basically somebody has an idea to deal with this plant, this problem. And I'm getting they're getting very vocal about it to, with you and other people. Not in a negative way, in a way that like, all right, you know, we constantly have to deal with so-and-so. And this issue keeps coming up. And we're... I know that I'm fed up with it, and I know the rest of us are kind of fed up with it too. Maybe this is an option to take care of this, to kind of, you know, nip this in the bud and make it less of an issue going forward. Um, somebody has a plan to deal with this problem. You receive this plan, you have to be a part of the negotiation. You, that's, you're supposed to be. That's a part of the thing for you. You hear the information, you absorb it, you're like, well, okay, I understand what you're saying, I believe what you're saying, but this is what I would say, this is how I think it would go better, this is what I think is good or not so good about the situation. You have to help unfold and work through the situation. You've got the thinking woman, don't get caught up in the gender, but like you're the, you're a accompanying piece of this. 
And you got the temperance kind of like, well, this is what I think, but let's not jump into anything too quickly. Let's really think about what we're doing. Let's really think about how this is going to affect not only that person, but the people around and other things going forward. It's kind of like, you know, Aunt Susie's a pain in the butt. We don't really want her around. But in the other can, mom loves her. <laughs> so we can't just ignore her totally. Uh, not to mention grandma, that's grandma's daughter. So we can't just, you know, nix Aunt Susie out of everything. That's going to upset mom and it's going to upset grandma. Let's remember that. Okay. Because you're showing the connections here. Like, you know what? This isn't a simple fix. I know you might think it is, but that's that's not going to be okay. I know that they drive, that Aunt Susie drives those people crazy too, but they still love her and they don't want her just thrown out to the wolves. <laughs> they don't want to do that. The yin-yang is coming in here in the center. There's a lot of negotiation going back and forth. What's a good thing to do that sounds good, but here's what the backlash would be. Okay, but if we do that, this is what keeps happening. So if we don't do that, this is what we're going to have to deal with, and that's not good either. Yeah, but if we do keep dealing with it, these other people will be happy. There's a lot of back and forth, the good and bad of it. There's The yin-yang is kind of like somebody has a plan and they want to do something about this issue, but you're kind of like you're seeing the holes in this all over the place. You're just kind of like, yeah, well, if it was that simple to fix this, I think we would have done this by now. But okay, let's talk it out. Um, <laughs> you're trying to be the voice of reason here. Kind of like, this isn't such a simple fix. Like somebody, I feel like that's one of the things, like that's one of the options. Let's just get rid of them altogether. Let's just stop talking to them. Let's just, you know, cut them off on social media, not answer the phone when they call, tell them that we're busy. Just get rid of them altogether and just stop dealing with them. They're always a problem anyway. Let's just get rid of them in a positive, positive way. Like, you know, in a positive, you know what I mean? Just stop talking to them, whatever. This seems to be like a topic of conversation that keeps going. I, I almost feel like there's either like an ongoing text or like people keep getting together and every time they get together, this person is pushing forward this idea. We need to stop talking to them. We need to just cut them off on social media, block them. Don't talk to them. Don't tell them what's going on. If they don't know what's going on, they can't cause problems, blah, 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 blah. And then there's other people on the other side saying, yeah, but this is going to hurt that person. And yeah, that other person's going to be upset if you do that. That's not going to work because they're going to feel like, you know, that person's being attacked and they do care about that person. They don't see that person the same way we see that person. There's a lot of back and forth. Um, the five of wands is like there's a lot of conflict. Like there could be a bit of arguing with this, just to be fair. The moon card is like not understanding what's really going to happen. How far is this going to go? Why are people, why is there somebody is really motivated about causing it? creating a situation where this person is not a part of the problem anymore. Like just getting rid of this person altogether, like cutting somebody off. Somebody's like, and it's like the mystery behind it is like, why are they so motivated? I'm getting like, after a while, it, it, it becomes a fruitless conversation. And I feel like you're the one that's, you kind of have to watch it and kind of direct it, kind of almost like subliminally. You have to kind of like interject yourself or invite yourself into situations so you can kind of absorb what's going on and kind of help people move around the situation. Because um, I feel like you're trying to swim around the situation and kind of like avoid landmines in a way. Trying to understand like, why do you want to do this? Why is this person so hell-bent on getting rid of Aunt Susie? She's always been a problem. It's been years. We've always had to deal with her. We're never going to get rid of her. Why are they so, why are they so strong about it now? I'm getting like, things seem to calm down after a while. Whoever this other person is, they start to get the hint. Like, this is not going to work. They're not going to be able to just block Aunt Susie and get everybody else to block Aunt Susie too. It's just not going to happen. I don't know why we're using the name Susie, by the way. So if your name is Susie, I apologize. It has nothing to do. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through that way. Um, Justice, the scales, Libra, that's... This is coming in. You're trying to make this work out. Success is coming in. You're getting you're getting the situation to kind of calm down. Um, I feel like what you're saying is like you're giving this person like an option, kind of like you're telling them. It's almost like on Facebook where you can you could restrict it so certain people can't see your posts or certain people can't see certain posts and you're getting them to do that so like you're you're not you're not having them blocked or defriended if you will because you know sometimes that becomes offensive 
but you're saying like set up your you're teaching them like set up your permissions so that they're not going to see posts when you talk to that person or they're not going to see your how you're contributing to this or that that way if they don't see it they don't have they can't have a problem with what you're saying so if you're worried about that you're like you're, you're you're trying to help somebody find a different way to deal with this person they don't like the justice is coming in with the success is like instead of making it a big big issue or a bold face issue just change your permissions you know don't don't get involved in these conversations you know don't look at this let's do this let's move around with that you're helping them find other ways to deal with this situation that's the that's the gist of it is this working somebody like really has a bug up their butt about the whole situation they really do the the empress is showing up here and i'm getting like there's a problem like they really have a problem with this person they, there's some other there's un, there's an underlying problem is what i'm getting when I get the Empress, because it's also coming in with the Eight of uh, Wands and the Heartbreak, something behind the scenes has happened. And there's problems going on outside of the situation that you're not being told about and most people involved are not being told, told about. There's a problem behind the scenes with, like, for, for example, if it was Aunt Susie. I don't know why I'm using the name Susie, so I apologize if that offends anybody. But if there's a problem with her... This person who wants to like, get them out of everybody's life, like just get rid of her, just throw her down the stairs, like don't not like that, but like just block her on everything. Don't even talk to her anymore. Don't don't even acknowledge that she exists anymore. There's another problem they're having directly with that person that it's private and it's off to the side, and they don't want anybody to know about it. This is part of the reasoning behind this. There's something else going on behind the scenes that people don't know about. That's the heartbreak. I'm getting that you don't this because it's showing up on your side as the constraint for financial constraint. I don't think it's financial though. I'm noticing this cupboard that's almost empty, but there's a couple little things in there. So there's a couple hints coming your way that there's something else going on there. There's another reason this person is so animate against. I keep saying Aunt Susie. I don't know why, but I am. You're starting to figure it out is what I'm getting. You don't have hardly anything to go on, but you got enough. Like when you see in that cupboard, like what is in there? There's like there's a couple coins, and then there's this book that's opened, and then the other side of the um, the cabinet is not open. So you know there's more to be seen, but what is there? You know something's not right. At this point, you should know something's not right. Everybody's getting along, are they? Yeah. Nine of Cups is showing up. You've ha everybody else. Everybody else is getting along. Nobody else seems to be this animate about it. Man holding a heart with the magician in the mirror is kind of like, it's it's this. It seems to be a specific person who's having a problem. Other people are like, you know what? We've dealt with it for years. There's no reason to make a bigger issue now. It's not going to change. And everybody else seems to accept that and understand that. It's this one other person. Their anxiety, like literally, the card anxiety is showing up there. They keep fighting to get rid of this person. Uh, that's the seven of swords or seven of wands. They seem to feel like if they keep fighting long enough, they'll have the success they want because they don't want this person around them anymore. They've had some other private problem with them. I'm just not sure. It's not saying what it is. I mean, I know it's a general read, but they're having a problem with this person. It's off to the side. Everybody doesn't know about it. I feel like you don't know about it, but you know that something isn't right. That, again, that card we just explained. Be aware of it because I'm getting, they're going to keep coming at this. The, the, uh, the first chakra is like the primal chakra. They're like the, the kind of like the need for food. Like, you know, if you're starving and the, the primal chakra kicks in, like I need to find food. I need to get something so I can survive. That, that is coming in with hostilities. This person is going to come back again. They're not going to drop this. It's like a temporary win where they seem to block back off. But I feel like when you've solved this or feel like you've solved it, it hasn't really solved it. It is going to come back around again. The only way for you to really find out is to go to the source and find out, for example, if it was Aunt Susie, if you dare, go to Aunt Susie and try to find out what the problem is. That's your only way to start to actually sort this out. And I feel like that's what this reading is saying. Whoever the problem person is, that's the only place you're going to find the answers and be able to really start sorting this out so you can kind of put a, put a lid on this to, to stop it from being a constant problem. Um, 
but I, I also, f I, the energy is very cringy, kind of like, oh, I don't really want to do that. I feel like that is kind of like, oh, I don't want to talk to that person. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to do it. I feel like that's what's going on when I'm feeling that, in the sense of like, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. This person, because if you can unearth what the actual underlying problem is, you might be able to avert these hostilities. Until you find out the base of the problem, I almost feel like that's why the base chakra is coming out, the first chakra. Until you find out the, really where this is coming from, there's going to be these, there's constantly the hostility between these two people. And I feel like you have to go to that person. Even then, though, I feel like it's a little sketchy if you're going to get the actual details. You might find out the, the problem, but not the real details, if you know what I mean. Kind of like, oh, that's what went wrong. Yeah, they, they broke my car. How'd they, broke your, how'd they break your car? Well, they're this, that, the other thing, blah, 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 blah. The car may be very much broken, and that may be why they're upset with each other, but what actually happened and what actually transpired might be a whole other case. Um, that's I feel like that's what this reading is about, saying this situation is going to keep going until somebody finds the root of the problem. Since you're Libra, I would say you might even want to find somebody who you're you're in good standing with who is able to talk to that other person you know aunt susie i don't know why we keep calling her aunt susie but there you go somebody who's in good standing with aunt susie maybe kind of ask them to kind of like try to find out what's going on there or if something is going on if something is going on you might want to do that that may be the better way to do it and just kind of like keep it under your hat that you're trying to find out if something is really happening or not only when you find the root of it well, you have a chance to really shut this down so you can move this issue on. This is one of those things where until it's solved, until it's quieted down, or at least until it's, it might just have to be exposed for what it is. That might literally be what it takes to calm it down. Until that moment happens, this is going to keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. And I'm getting for some of you, this literally could last for a few years because this other person is in this heartbreak energy with the anxiety and it's just it constantly comes back and it constantly comes back and it constantly comes back. If you want to solve that and get it out of your hair, that's the energy they're giving you to do that. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.